My name is Molly Caffrey, and I work for the federal government. I deal in worst-case scenarios, the unthinkable. On September 16, 2005, the unthinkable happened. An extraterrestrial object appeared off the bow of a naval freighter. The entire crew was exposed to a high-frequency signal. Some died instantly. Others began to change. They are now stronger, more resilient. They dream of alien landscapes, and they are driven by the impulse to infect others. Several of the crewmen are now loose in the United States. They will strike any time, any place, anyone. Their goal? To turn us into them. But I have a plan to stop them. That plan is called Threshold. agents, state-of-the-art surveillance, and access to every law enforcement database in the country. How in hell did the Baltimore PD cross paths with one of our fugitive infectees before we did? Because Daniel Soon Park disappeared into the criminal underworld. Story of his life. Vandalism, robbery, assault, all before he turned 17. After his third arrest, his parents disowned him. Like a lot of kids with no direction, he joined the service. He excelled in electronics and tested at a 140 IQ. He became the Bighorn's communications chief. They were all infected, but some of them survived the explosion on the ship. So he's out there with the resources of a dangerous gang and the strength of an alien infectee. Park killed a cop. Every badge in Maryland's gonna be looking for him. We better find him before they do, for their sake. security IDs in record time. So we're gonna need them. Make sure you tag all the shell casings and listen to the report. Detective. Victoria Rossi. Molly Caffrey. Kavanaugh, Homeland Security. I'm sorry about your partner. I was about to call you. There's something in here you want to see. In the cargo pod. This pod arrived last night? Yesterday morning. The manifest says this pod is loaded with electronics in Jakarta, shipped out of Hong Kong. Cargo out of Hong Kong is considered low risk. It wasn't scanned. Oh, then how'd you come across it? Different way in, I work waterfront robbery. The gang's been hitting microchip deliveries coming in from Asia. Microchips? Less hassle than dealing drugs, more lucrative. A chip the size of a dime can sell for $1,000 on the street. The bangers used to hijack trucks on their way upstate. And we got wise to that, they started working the dock. And you think Park's gang smuggled the people in too? This is their turf. They know what's in every container coming in. Gangs are like any business, always looking for ways to branch out. Gotten any hits on the bolo? Not yet. Call us immediately if you do. Park represents a I know what he represents. We'll need you to turn over Park's accomplice to us immediately. I have six uniforms at my disposal, two undercover. We can canvas the inner harbor district. If the illegals haven't left the city, they'll probably hold up there. Thank you, Detective. Uh, we'll take it from here. Your call. 
Cat Lucas. Search every container in this dock. We need to find out what those chips do and why Park wants them. Well, maybe he was just interested in the money. Then we'll be standing in a torn-up bank vault right now. Take it easy. Take it easy. Hey, 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 listen to me. I don't know what the hell you're saying, but if you don't calm down right now, We'll just take a sample of your blood off the floor. Sorry. Would you prefer the hip? That's uh, much better. Platelets unremarkable. White cell count normal. So far, so human. I've informed Homeland Security that we appropriated their identity. Has it occurred to you? that our jobs would be easier if we didn't have to work in secrecy. Dr. Fenway. We'd have found all those missing crewmen weeks ago if we'd enlisted the public's help. Mm, not true. Historically speaking, the public can't help but panic in a crisis. The Wall Street crash, Cuban Missile Crisis, even Orson Welles broadcast War of the Worlds in 38. You don't have to answer to him. Yeah, nor to anyone, apparently. I would just like to be clear that there is a reason for maintaining secrecy. Panic is contagious. Last thing we need is an epidemic of it. No genetic mutations. Thank you. You're welcome. When did you start stealing chips? Anjibuta microchips ul Hongchichi Sijat Katsumiga. Hongchin Jokok so. He's plain dumb. Was it Park's idea to go after the chips? Mr. Parky Hongchi La Sijat Katsuminga. Pakina no mola. How can a Korean not know anyone named Park? He speaks English. Uh, How do you know? It's the way he pronounces his consonants. It's common amongst native Asian language speakers who've mastered English. Does Guantanamo Bay mean anything to you? You have a nice flight. Take him. Okay, hey, wait, 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 okay? Look, Park wanted the chips. Only a certain kind. What kind? I don't know. I'm a little dog. Fish, simple to me. Look, I swear, I'm just a driver. When did Park return to the gang? Two weeks ago. We were surprised. We heard about his ship, thought he was dead. First thing Danny did was take on our tumult. Leader. I've known Danny since we were kids. He was never much of a fighter, but it was now. Go on. Tumok whipped out his blade. But Park snapped his wrist like a twig and beat him to death. Uh, where are the Indonesians that were smuggled over in the car? I don't know. Later? Park didn't care about them. He just wanted the microchips. Why? I don't know. Like, why does it matter? The cop killed him. What? Okay, uh, I'll call you in a little bit. All right, bye. Rossi's been lying. Park was never at large. Chances are he's still alive. Let's go, boss. You never called me that before. I still never had to ask you for a favor. What do you need? When we get Park in custody, I'd like a five-hour leave to go home. Everything all right? Yeah, my uh, family member's in a bad way. Who? OK. Absolutely. Take more time if you need it. I appreciate it. We know you have Park. Why did you lie to us? I want him to answer for my partner's murder. You obstructed a Homeland Security investigation. I turned over my entire crime scene so you can capture your Indonesians. So that makes it OK to fake a bolo and lie to federal agents? Cop killer gets a needle in the state. But if Park gave you one scrap of information, any public defender would be able to make sure he got three hot meals and cable TV, while Blake's daughter grows up without a dad. I owe Sam more than that. How do we know you're not working with Park? Like you said, those chips cost a lot of money. I'm sure you check my financials and service records. My blood's gonna turn up drug-free. You won't find any dirt on me. Blood's fine. You tell us where Park is, or you'll be lucky to work security at the mall. At this point, you know we're gonna find him. 
can only slow us down. I promise. No sweet deals for Park. After he got shot, Park was electrocuted by a high voltage power cable. Stop, police! Don't move! human being would be dead. What's going on? We can't reveal that. But it should give you an idea how much we want him off the streets. Here it is. I figured if cargo pods were good for smuggling people, they were good for holding them. These agents are here for Park. Ma'am? Come on, open up. Homeland Security's taking custody. But DHS agents were just here. They already took him. Typical feds. Right hand never knows what the left hand is doing. Don't worry, it's just a miscommunication. Miscommunication has put killers back on the street. That's not gonna happen with Can't Park. we listen? No, you, you listen. The only thing keeping you from jail is my sympathy for your situation. I can't blame her for where she stands, Molly. I don't. All the more reason to keep her far away from us. I'm having trouble focusing. Close or far? Close. Look up. Supposed to be analyzing these microchips, which is a little tricky when you can't see six inches in front of your face. Given the fact that you were exposed to an alien signal, do I really have to remind you to see me on a regular basis? Where the hell were you this morning? No offense. Put down. I don't like examinations. It makes me feel like one of your lab rats. Oh, interesting. What? Take your lenses out. When was the last time you had your prescription changed? I just got a new pair, like, two months ago. Hey, read what's on that monitor there and uh, start the top line. Protein analysis sample 81465, specimen obtained at 1,300 hours. I can see it perfectly. Yeah. The curvature of your retina's changed. Your, your eyes are improving. How can that be? What, what, what's causing that? I don't know. Why don't you come back later tonight for that physical you've been avoiding? We'll do a full workup. Oh, uh, can I wait till tomorrow morning? Not really. I haven't seen my fiance in two days. Tonight, Mr. Pegg. We're supposed to be moving. I figured this is a job for the National Security Advisor. Homeland Security has no idea what they're dealing with. The Undersecretary has threshold clearance. We can discuss this openly with Robert. Well, what's to discuss? Just have him turn Park over. DHS doesn't answer to the National Security Advisor or to anyone other than the President. I'm aware of that. It's not your fault. You completed the threshold plan in March 2001, before 9-11, when DHS didn't exist. We know Park was exposed to the alien signal. He has the same symptoms as the others. Extreme strength, spontaneous tissue regeneration. He Andrew, has... it's okay. I've, I've been brief. I know what the signal does to the victim. You'll turn him over to Thresh. I'm afraid, no, I, that won't be possible. May I ask why? Our intelligence indicates that the three Indonesians that Park helped smuggle into the U.S. are experts in explosives. They learned their craft at Al-Qaeda training camps. They didn't come to America for Disneyland. Well, maybe they did. We did manage to pick one of them up, though. He called one of our contacts looking for ammonium nitrate. He told us how he got here. They led us back down to the docks. We saw some cops guarding a cargo pod, and we found Park inside. Now, what we wanted the other two Indonesians. We're hunting those other two terrorists. Well, you must have other leads to pursue. Well, absolutely, we do. Park's our best bet. He's unconscious right now. As soon as he regains consciousness, I want to know everything that he knows. When he wakes up, your men are going to have more than they can handle. My people know how to handle security. That is our business, after all. Sir, we're dealing with an extraterrestrial threat. Miss Caffrey, 
How many Americans have your extraterrestrials killed? Six on the Bighorn ship and nine on American soil that we know of. Foreign terrorists killed 3,000 Americans in one morning. Sir, I'm worried about the welfare of millions. Anything you can do to help us, Robert, would be greatly appreciated. We'll turn Park over to Threshold as soon as we're through with him. Thank you. You're going to the president? No. He's the only one who could overrule Homeland Security. But I don't think he will. Why? He trusts you. And if I put him in a compromising situation, I'll lose that trust. I'd be forcing him to choose between the alien threat and stopping a possible terrorist attack. Both are crucial to U.S. security. You know him. Always one eye in the history books, even if I win. It'll make ripples in D.C. You'll risk exposing Threshold. You're famous for your strategies, Molly. Make a new one. Are those the microchips that came from the cargo pod? Yeah. Wow, looks like Bill Gates' head exploded in here. Bill Gates would sell his mother to Apple to get a hold of this. What is it? It's the, the most advanced hyperacoustic integrator I've ever seen. Oh, well, save the pillow talk for your fiance. It's a digital audio processor. What did he want with him? It's the only thing on the market that's sophisticated enough to come close to actually creating an alien signal. What's the difference between coming close and actually doing it? A massive amount of power. So. One question remains. Once he gets that power, where was he planning to play the signal? I need you to unlock the restraints. No can do. Sprague says this guy's a real danger. Danger? It's amazing he survived these wounds. You ask me? Someone who helps terrorists doesn't deserve a band-aid. I didn't ask you. His wounds appear to be already healing. Can you hear me? We'll check on him later. Where's Park? DHS detention. They won't release him to us. You don't look surprised. It's DC. I wish people would stop saying that. With our resources, we could determine where they're holding him and extract him. Break into a DHS detention facility. I know enough about the security to get us in. Just getting out with Park that might get a little dicey. No way. You'd be shot on sight. Thanks for caring. Threshold needs you. We tried diplomacy. Force is not an option. What's left? Old-fashioned horse trading. If we give them the two Indonesians they're looking for, They'll give us park. At least we have the stuff from the cargo pod. That gives us the advantage over Homeland Security. What's the penalty for withholding evidence from Homeland Security? Think of it as helping, not withholding. None of the DNA samples from the blankets or fingerprints off the cans match anyone from the national databases. Makes sense if you just entered the country. Can it tell us anything about the suspects? Genetic profiling says definitely male, most likely Asian. We've narrowed it down to two billion. Things are looking up. Zyvu Kang is an herbal compound. It's believed to be an aphrodisiac, Chinese Viagra. More commonly used to treat asthma. So uh, one of them is asthmatic and in need of medicine. Do they even sell this stuff here? I doubt it. There are tight controls on imported pharmaceuticals. The closest thing you can find in the US is a cortical steroid inhaler. How does a criminal fugitive get medicine without a prescription? They steal it. I'm gonna check that Baltimore criminal database. Took a pharmacy robberies in the last two days. All right. Okay, three break-ins. What was taken? Oxycontin. No Billy heroin. Yeehaw. Graham's Pharmacy on Eastern Avenue. Stolen merchandise includes painkillers and one box of asthma inhalers. All right, let's start there. Look, fingerprints and DNA at the crime scene aren't gonna give us anything I haven't already gotten off the blankets. We can canvas the neighborhood, go door to door. With Park healing rapidly and DHS lockup, do we have time for that? No. But I know someone who can provide a shortcut. Blake's daughter? 
Emily just started walking last week. She won't even remember it was her father who was holding her hands. Sam and Valerie tried for five years to get pregnant, and when they had Emily, they were over the moon. I can see why. They invited me to dinner a couple of times, and you know how it is in this business. You've got to keep professional distance, especially when you're in charge. I wish I'd taken them up on it just once. So sorry. You already offered your condolences. I need your help. That's not what you said back at the dock. We still need to find the terrorists Park smuggled into the country. This means Park's not talking. Best news I've heard all day. We catch these two, we won't need Park's help. What do you need from me? Your file says you work narcotics in the Druid Hill area. Five years, so? I'm looking for someone. Calm down, Taz. Rossi, what's up, girl? Hey, if this is about those stereos, I'll make a Sunday dinner with my mother. Stop talking and listen. We're looking for two Indonesian men who are staying in this neighborhood. They probably dropped some painkillers on the street for cash. We know China would kind of stick out around here. And I may have seen some. So, Rossi, you gonna help a brother out? Listen, buddy. I'm Homeland Security. We don't pay for information. People help us, we thank them. If they don't, they're part of the problem. Wait a minute. You're Homeland Security? Why didn't you just say so, baby? I'm famous for my love of kung fu. Okay, damn, all right. I seen a couple of kung fu repairmen drop some medicine this morning. Repairmen? Yeah, you know, like cats in jumpsuits. Like plumbers and whatnot. Had a white van. Tell us where. No good can come from bomb experts with a van. Kavanaugh has a dozen agents canvassing the area. Maybe we can narrow down the search. I'm sure all the florists they've been freaking out will be happy about that. Ramsey, I need to tap your expertise. Well, I knew you would eventually. The answer is yes. Excuse me? Women always come to me for sexual release like I'm some machine. <laughs> I was referring to your language skills. Oh, your loss. How may I be your linguistic biatch? Can you tell me where Kavanaugh is from? Kavanaugh. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, easily. Uh, vocal patterns and accents are better than fingerprints. Chicago area, but not metro. Baltimore meter maid ticketed a white van this morning. Expired parking meter. Commercial vehicles parking commercial zones, no meters. $45 fine. Now that's a crime. Kavanaugh. Go ahead. A delivery van was ticketed on the corner of Pennington and Fifth about a half hour ago. It's just right at the street. Oh, well, maybe it's still there. Check it out. We're on our way. Chicago. You sure? Yeah, I'll go one better. I'll bet a C note that he, his hometown is somewhere in uh, Will County, south of Cook. I don't bet unless I have a shot. Thanks. We have a white van containing explosive materials. Repeat, we have a white van containing explosive materials. <laughs> Sir. These are the two gentlemen you're looking for. They were stealing washing machine timers from a Baltimore laundromat. Their stolen van was packed with homebrewed C4. That's their MO. Marines take custody. Yes, sir. It's a good job. Mm -hmm. Dr. Caffrey, you and your team have done a tremendous service for our country. I want to thank you. I'm happy to help, sir. I'd like to request the transfer of Daniel Park to Threshold. I'm afraid there's been a shift in his custody status. Meaning? He escaped.
took out two guards, jumped out of a three-story window, and he disappeared. Where are your men now? The infirmary. They're in pretty bad shape. I tried to warn them about Park's strength without revealing Threshold's mission. I understand, sir. Did anyone see where he went? No. No eyewitnesses. Dr. Caffrey, if there is anything that I can do personally to assist you in this situation, you let me know. Thanks. If you have any of Park's personal effects, it may help us track him down. You didn't have any. My people brought him in with the clothes on his back. Great. This is some kind of sick joke, right? It's not. How did he escape? We're not exactly sure. You made a promise to me. And I meant it. We screwed up. But you can help us fix this. Forget it, I'm out. I know what you're thinking. You can't catch this guy alone. I did it once. I know you have personal effects. I lost him, not exactly sure how. The clock is ticking, Rossi. You need our resources. We need Park's things. Terrorists are your beat. You caught them. Why is Park such a high priority? That's classified. Then so are his things. Detective. You need my help, fine. If I'm in, I'm all in. If I tell you the truth, I guarantee you, you won't look at life the same way again. Well, I've been on this job for 16 years. Nothing can surprise me anymore. Holy God. All the men on Park's ship were exposed to the same signal? Yeah. We've accounted for most of them, but a few are still missing. Changed in the same way Park's been changed. We think so. The degree of genetic mutation seems to depend on the level and duration of exposure. I never knew something like this was even possible. I never imagined my plan would ever be put into action. At least not in my lifetime. But, uh, here we are. Expect the unexpected. First rule of the job. You understand now how vital it is to contain this threat. Absolutely. I know I've been a pain in the ass. You have. But you were justified. I'll get you Park's things. Thanks. Mr. Baylock. Against my better judgment, you were just let in on the secret of a lifetime. I won't say a word. That had better be the case. There is too much at stake for this to become gossip at the cop bar. Never big on gossip, sir. That's more of a DC thing. Who's winning? The bad guys. If you stick to the north side of the bunker, you can pick off the jackals one at a time. Thanks. So how is Rachel? Rachel's fine. <laughs> Good. Because it can't be easy for her. Or you. Big life change, huh? If you're worried I might elope, don't. I, I understand what's at stake. Besides knowing what I know, I don't know how much I'd enjoy a honeymoon right now. Well, if there's anything I can do to make things easier, let me know. Sure. Good luck with the jackals. <laughs> Thanks. Rogers Avenue Station. I'll take Pleasant Avenue and cut across. Wait. Forgot my keys. I need to go back to my place. Sure. Take this right. There's a shortcut through the alley. Right here? Yeah. Stop. What are you, about 6 1? Yeah, why? Your vision is better than 2010. I think that's a record. I've been wearing glasses since I was seven years old. In my last eye exam, I was 2300. Yeah. Must have something to do with your exposure to the signal. Your theta wave activity's gone up another notch. Anything like this happened to Dr. Caffrey or Kavanaugh? No. Uh, have you noticed anything else, any other changes? 
Halo. Huh? Oh, this video game that I play sometimes. Uh, Dr. Caffrey gave me some pointers and they helped a little bit, but last night I broke through every level. It's like my hand eye coordination is off the charts. Hmm. Hmm, what? Well, it, just, it could be tied to your enhanced visual acuity. What if I'm changing, like one of the infected bighorn crewmen? No. Enhanced strength would be next? Lucas. Regenerative powers? Lucas. I could be turning into one of them. Luke, Lucas, listen. Your DNA is normal. No genetic mutations. Look, I'm gonna start testing your DNA every day. Keep a very close eye on this. In the meantime, you need to tell me about any other unusual symptoms, all right? And whatever happens, I promise, I'm gonna get you your very own cage, away from all the other rats. Baltimore subway pass, bought last week. There were 14 miles of track in the system. You could have gone anywhere in the city. Can you find out where Park's been? Yeah, looks like a standard mag strip. Okay, it's been used daily until the DHS captured him. <clears throat> I mean, until you captured him. Uh, he swiped in daily at Rogers Avenue Station around 10 a.m. Between the morning and lunch hour rush. Something's not right. Gangbangers don't have regular commutes. Maybe he's not actually getting on the train. If he is building a signal emitter, what better place to set it off than a subway station? He can infect thousands of people in minutes. A lot of them federal employees on the way to D.C. we've tapped into the entire Baltimore transit system. We can see everything their surveillance cameras see. No sign of Park so far. I haven't seen him either. No sign of him here. He hasn't shown up on any of the security monitors. Yeah, well, it's only 10.30. Let's be patient. Okay, hey, hold on. What is it, Ramsey? The power just went out in the south tunnel, about a hundred yards from your location. Looks like a relay overloaded. Well, what caused it? Not sure. Wait a minute, it's coming back online. Uh, circuit system says it's drawing about a hundred times its usual power. Enough power to emit the signal? And then some. Yeah. Back at the station, we're on it. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm from the Baltimore Police Department. I'd like to ask you to exit the station. Those shells are electrically charged. This thing feeds off power. That could just amp it up and make it worse. Okay, where's the power coming from? Yeah, parts tapped into the substation that sends power to the rails. JT, we gotta shut down power to the subway tracks. We'll have to black out a couple of city blocks. Uh, do what you gotta do. Make it quick. That's weird. What's the problem? I'm locked out. I was just in the system a minute ago. Looks like Parks encrypted the power control software. He's using a quantum encryption scheme. That'll take hours to unlock. Molly, we can't shut down the power. Okay, can you deactivate the emitter itself? God, he's running a lot of juice. Almost 500 amps. Oh, man. I might be able to draw out enough power to, to keep it from working. All right, try it.
Just some harmonic. Molly, get out of there. Just, just hold on. Keep working. Look, if we don't stop it now, we may not be able to. I want you out of that tunnel, Caffrey. I've got a handle on it. Detective Brosty, I need you here now. Not even close. It's gonna start emitting a full signal within seconds. What do you need, Jeffrey? Stand by. Now would be a good time, Lucas. I'm trying. Keep your guard up. These guys don't like to die. I think he's cooked. Lucas, I can't do it. He's built in too many redundancies. I, I, I just can't. I can't shut off the current. I need your gun now. You got it. You guys okay? Yeah. I'm never riding the subway again. Sorry. Now that we know it's possible to create the signal using our own technology, do we assume the other crewmen are doing the same? Not necessarily. The aliens have all the knowledge of the people they infect, but all their limitations too. No other survivor of Big Horn had Park's technological expertise. Well, their agenda seems clear enough now. Infect as many people as possible any way they can. We better hope this signal doesn't find its way to NASA. Or MIT. OK, uh, let's focus on what we need to do. If human technology can create the signal, then we should be able to jam it, too. We'll start rebuilding these components, but uh, they're pretty fried. You had to teach her how to shoot, Kavanaugh. Well, if you hadn't, you guys be sitting here alone. Cause of death, electrocution. Live by the sword. But I saw him survive a major shock before. Not like this. Lucas charged the stun shell strong enough to render unconscious anyone who was exposed to the signal. But the added voltage from the subway rail made the dose lethal. The signal made from the chips he stole? How did it work? Uh, best we can tell, it emits microwaves that trigger neurological changes. I really underestimated Al-Qaeda. I mean, I never dreamed guys living in caves could be so scientifically advanced. Inventing a weapon to turn us into maniacs? No, they may live in caves, but they have the money and connections to buy what they need. And the less they know about what we know, the better our chances of stopping them. You have my word. Hey. You did right by your partner. Well, Sam was a great guy and a great cop. As tight as the two of us were, and I never told him that. And tell his daughter. Yeah. Well, if there's anything you need? There is. Just keep your eyes open out there. If you see anything like you've seen in the last few days, call that number I gave you. You better believe it. Al-Qaeda, huh? Every outside person who learns about Threshold is a potential threat to it. <laughs> You're full of it. What? She's no threat and you know it. What you were doing is allowing her to eventually get a good night's sleep again. Believe what you want to believe. Night, Doctor. Here. What's this? Round trip ticket to O'Hare. O'Hare? You're not the only one with resources. Flight leaves at 10. Hey. Uh, this ticket, is it transferable? Yeah, why? Uh, the situation is, uh, 
was changed. It's okay, I'd like to take my leave the day after tomorrow. Of course. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Kavanaugh. You going to a funeral? Yeah. You didn't make it home in time. It's okay. No, it's not. Hey, Molly, this isn't new for me. I've been living this life many years on many assignments. Unlike the rest of the red team, including you, I signed up for this. Mm -hmm, but you're still human. For now. It's not funny. Good night.